time for afternoon business chatter. It is Easter. We'd like to bring to your attention matters of health right now. And I'm joined by Ashwin Kotodia, who's the man behind Europa Healthcare Group. Now, this is a group that has been recognized internationally for its quality service. Europa is a pharmaceutical company, if you like. Ashwin Karibusana. Thank you so much. You have a lot of uh, awards. Um, you know, on your shelf, but the most outstanding is the one for quality. Tell me about that. Yes, uh, Europa Healthcare Group was the first pharmaceutical company in Kenya mm -hmm. to be awarded ISO certification right. from QS, an international organization right. based in Europe. Mm -hmm. After that, <coughs> last last month, uh, Europa was selected mm -hmm. out of you know, uh, 30 other companies uh, to be awarded the Global Trophy for Quality right. by an organization known as World Trade. Uh, organization. Right, you're obviously coming from a rich background of, of quality and, and, you know, and, and, and such like values, but operating in the Kenyan market where the market is flooding with counterfeits, how do you ensure that yes, the space room which you operate in is, is safe from that? Well, quality is very important for us and quality is a continuous process for us. Right. So it's trying to improve the quality of everything. Right. In Europa, we got a mantra which says, we don't compromise on quality, not on your life. Right. Uh, so we take quality very seriously. Mm -hmm. I personally go and visit all the manufacturing plants from which places we actually import all the pharmaceutical products and satisfy that they follow all the guidelines, the WHO, or the Pharmacy Imposing Board guidelines, or any international body guidelines, that they produce products which are of quality, which we mm -hmm. can subscribe or prescribe to on uh, families. Right. So we are very particular about the quality, and that's the most important part of it. Particularly when you talk about chronic segment, right? We specialize in chronic segment, whether it is heart patients, mm -hmm. diabetic, right. cancer, you know, renal transplant, where somebody has to take the medicine for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that the quality is paramount. Talking about chronic segments and chronic diseases are some of the most expensive. We're operating in a market where a lot of us are living in on less than two dollars a day. Absolutely. How do you fashion your, your, your products to ensure that this market, which is produ predominantly poor, can still access the best of quality drugs? Well, we, like I said, we try and look for companies which can produce goods at a reasonable price. Right. So it's about products. partnerships. Again, it's partnership with some of the largest company in the world, mm -hmm. like we represent from India, a company called Sun Pharmaceutical, which is the largest pharmaceutical company in India now. Right. We also represent a number of European companies which produce pharmaceutical products for us at a very reasonable price. Mm -hmm. You've mentioned India. What is this that India keeps getting it right and Africa cannot in regards to manufacturing? Because uh, what you do is you import drugs. You're a huge pharmaceutical, but you import drugs. We don't see a lot of manufacturing coming from the African space. I think it's, <coughs> it's large economy of scale. India is such a huge country with so many pharmaceutical companies there. Mm -hmm. But when they are produced for the over a million people, you know, the cost is more effective for them. Right. But it's fairly big if you, consider, if you look at Africa if you look as a Africa unit. as a whole, of course. But right. I think it's also the technology side of things. Okay. Uh, a lot of Indian companies are very much into pharmaceuticals. In fact, if you look at a lot of European companies now, they import their generics from India now. Right. And the license they're producing in India. Right. Because they make it in such a cost-effective way. Right. It's like India has now become, if you like, the manufacturing uh, plant for pharmaceuticals for the rest of the world. Right. When we put our focus on the chronic segment, which, which of course is your area of, of speciality, um, what's the future in regards to the pharmaceutical space in Africa, uh, in regards to offering this particular service for that special group of people? I think what's happening now is that uh, a lot of people before, for example, if you talk about renal transplant, mm -hmm. people did not have a choice. They had to go to South Africa, go to India, or go to Europe for treatment. Now Kenya offers that renal transplant mm -hmm. and we provide medication to make sure that the transplant is not rejected. Right. So same thing with oncology. A lot of oncology centers are being set up now in Kenya. So patients don't have to go outside to India or South Africa or Europe like they used to go before. Right. So all those facilities are now coming to Kenya. And what's more important I think is that Kenya mm -hmm. has become the center for East Africa. So we got very good facilities here now in Nairobi. And you see people coming from Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, Sudan. Rather than going abroad, they're now coming to Kenya for the treatment. So Kenya has become a hub for, for, for medicine here and, and the health treatment in Eastern Central Africa now. Right, as we wind up, talk to us about Europa. What would your books look like? What's your target for the next few years in this book? Well, we are uh, one of the you know, fourth or fifth largest pharmaceutical distributors in Kenya now. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
uh, our next challenge is to move into the regional market. And uh, I think in the next two or three years, we should be doing that. Right. So we should be watching out for expansion, especially in this space. Oh, absolutely. If there was one uh, specific thing that could be done to change affordability of quality drugs in Kenya, what would that be? I think it's the economy of scale. I think is you see that more people are now getting lifestyle diseases. So as they're getting lifestyle diseases, the population is now becoming more aware of medication. Mm -hmm. And I think as a result of that, mm -hmm. you will find that more people are now manufacturing specialized drugs, which they were not doing before. Right. So Kenya still start, start not started manufacturing specialized drugs yet. Mm -hmm. I think eventually a time will come and we'll start doing that. New technologies are coming up, new technology, uh, you know, giving transdermal patches, you know, so the medicine can be given to a cancer patient which will last for a week is a pain control. So those things are now happening. So the silver bullet is economy of scale for the African market. Absolutely. So if you look at Africa as a whole, there is a very, very good market for any pharmaceutical company. All right. Time is up. Ashwin Kotodia, thank you very much for bringing us and informing us more about uh, uh, Europa and healthcare. And, and congratulations on your award. Thank you so much. All right.